few months ago, I made a video showing the benefits of series charging 1S LiPos rather than parallel charging them using a simple lead like this. It basically wires four 1S LiPos in series to make it look like a 4S pack so you can charge them with a regular balance charger and you can discharge them to storage charge. And you can check that out in a link in the video. Now I've been doing this for years but it has one really annoying problem. If you want to charge four cells in series you need one of these wires and if you want to charge six cells in series you'll need to make up another one. But recently I started charging using this fantastic series charge board that allows you to use your balance charger to series charge anywhere between one and six 1S cells. Hello and welcome to the Willy Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. Unlike parallel charging cells, the two main advantages to series charging multiple 1S LiPos are the cells don't need to be the same level of charge before you start and you can easily get them to storage charge while you're not flying. You're just being kind to your batteries. If you check out my link in the description to my video that explains all this in full detail. Instead of using these dedicated wire cables for say 4S or 6S, you can use this series charge board to charge or discharge anywhere between one and six cells using your regular balance charger. This series charging board makes the batteries look like one battery pack. Parallel charging boards need the cells to all be around the same voltage and if they're not they won't charge properly. If the voltage deviation between the batteries is higher than about 0.1 of a volt it's not safe to charge them. And in parallel charging if one of the batteries is a problem or is short circuit then it can cause all sorts of nasty behaviour. Series charging doesn't have this problem and it's much, much safer. As long as the cells are all the same capacity, like these are 300, these are 720, then you can series charge. The current state of charge on each cell doesn't matter because the balance charger is gonna sort all that out for you. So let's see how this works. So the charge board has got a 6S balance lead and an XT60 which you can plug straight into your balance charger. Like so. And if I wanted to charge up, let's say, I've got these two 450 milliamp hour cells here. And as you can see, there's two rows of different types of connector. Basically, you've got pH 2.0 and these JST 1.5 millimeters. I'm not quite sure what they're called, uh, but regular sort of 1S cells tend to use the pH 2.0. So I'll just plug that in there and plug that in there. These are 450 milliamp hour. And if you look on the charger, you can see it's got two cells on here and they are 3.8 and 3.9. Now, if I'm charging two cells then you flick the second switch across and then I can just charge these up remember these are in series so we need to charge to two times 4.2 volts overall and the charge current should be at 1c about half an amp so let's see we're on high voltage we don't want that we want lipo 4.2 and the charge current we will make must be on the safe side make it 0.4 of an amp charge to 8.4 volts that's correct and there we go and you can see that the balance charger is doing its thing these we get a pointer of some description these two these sort of square boxes around the cell count actually show how hard the balance charger is working and it's already brought these up close together. So these are charging in series. Let me just stop that. So what happens if you try and charge and you haven't got those switches 
set it. Say you don't set any of them. Let's see what happens. Start charging. Basically, it's detected the fact that the voltage across the balance lead is different to what is on the main port. So it won't charge. If I say flick for switch number four, you're going to get the same type. Oops. You're going to get the same type of thing. You're going to get an error. So you can't get it wrong. And like I said, you don't have to worry about what the current state of charge is of each of these batteries. One of these could be fully charged, one of these could be fully discharged. And basically, the balance charge is going to sort all that out for you. So let's try charging. I've got three 720 milliamp hour batteries. These are all lipos again. Let's plug those in there. And you start plugging them in from the from the top downwards. I've got three, so I push the third switch across. And checking on the charger, we can see we've got three cells, and these are very mismatched. So it's 3.8, 4.1, 3.7. So we're going to charge this up. I've got this on auto detect, so it's auto detecting the fact there's three there. Charge to 12.6, which is a typical sort of 3s voltage. And there we go, it's charging away. And again, you can see they're all mismatched, but these two here, they're at 3.8. They will eventually come up faster than this one that's at 4.2. Fantastic. Now, the other great thing is that if you've got one cell that you want to charge and you've got a balanced charger, you can't charge it, but you can if you've got this. You just plug that in there, flick the first switch across. It's essentially joining these two leads together with those two leads internally in the switching on the PCB on this board. Start charging. You can charge to 4.2 because there's only one cell. There we go. It's charging away. Fantastic. Let's try something else. Let's see if I can charge six of these in series. I have got no idea what the state of charge is on each of these. So it's all a bit of a surprise. I can see they're all wildly different as I'm plugging them in. But it doesn't matter. It's a beauty of it. So flick that along, that one over there. And this one I'm going to flick over because we've got six, switch number six. And we have got 3.7, 3.5 is quite low, four. 4.1, 4.1, 3.5. So this will charge up as a 6S battery. It looks like 6S, but these cells are 300 milliamp per hour. So although they're all in series, we're still going to charge them at 300 milliamp per hour. So let's just start this. We'll go down to here. Select 0.3 an amp, 300 milliamp per hour. Charged to 25.2 volts, which is 6S. There we go. It's all happily charging away. But more importantly, it's charging safely. The balance charger is coping with the difference between the different states of charge of these batteries. Yeah, it's giving this one some stick and this one some stick. It's not doing much with these. It's an incredibly useful piece of kit that I now use to charge and discharge all my 1S batteries. The price on this is around $28 or £20 and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get hold of them at AliExpress. Now after my last video that I did about series charging 1S cells, I started selling these 4S series charge leads on my website and they just keep selling out. And if there's enough interest in these series charge boards, I'll start stocking them as well. And although these have been around for quite a while, for some reason they just totally passed me by. But for me, this has been a total game changer. Sort of more of a game charger. Who knows? As always, thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, maybe subscribe or buy me a coffee to support the channel. There's all the usual links in the description and I'll see you next time.